Oh no, Bride finds out her fiance's. Oh god damn. Yo, this is petty, but I love it. Yeah. I am all about that. Damn, dude. Okay, so I missed that entire, like, uh, like text message there. Like, I read some of it, but basically, like, the thesis here is her fiance is cheating on her with her best friend. I don't know which one is worse, you know? Is it the fiance or is it the best friend? <laughs> I, I feel like the fiance is, is a bit more in the wrong here, but like, this is just one big gross cesspool of awfulness and like, you gotta get what's coming to you guys. Oh my god, I feel like I'm cringing so bad right now. Exposing my toxic friends. Well, what is, like, just because, like, you were not a part of it? Is that what it was? Like, you weren't a part of the dance? Oh, what are we doing here? I don't know if you wanted to be a part of that, though. You know? Like, I feel like if I had to be left out of that, I'd be like, okay, well, this was for the best. This was, this was actually a good thing. <laughs> you know? So, like, yeah, I guess that they're doing their own thing, but, like, honestly, maybe just let them do that and, and move out of the camera. I think that'd be for the best. Got a heart. Okay, you know what, I guess that's a bit rude, but at the same point, you know, we're only seeing one side of the story here, folks. You know, imagine if like this lady was just like absolutely screaming at the top of her lungs all of the time. Just like, like I'd be like, please, God damn it. Like, I love you, but just like calm down. So I don't know, devil's advocate here, but that'd be rude if that wasn't the case. You let me down. Excuse me, are these your friends? I met them today. You met them today? Yeah. Um, Alright, except for you, I've got an offer you real quick. If you expose something about your friendship, I'll give you a brand new iPhone 13 Pro. Oh. I slept with her brother. Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Well, I mean, like, okay, first off, like, did she not know that though? Like, were you keeping that a secret? Was that a secret? Uh, you know, because like, why was that? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, congratulations, you got a new iPhone. Honestly, I, I'm an only child, so I like I don't I don't really know the sibling dynamic. But like, let's just say like I had a sibling. I'd be cool if one of my friends got with my sibling, cause I'd be like, yo, like my friend, like I know that they're dope. You know, like I, I feel like I'd want that. Like that'd be good rather than like some rando or something like that. You know? I don't know. Just throwing it out there. I texted my best friend and asked her to send me pictures of me. She would show to other people. All okay. right. If you have to show someone a pic of me, what pictures would you show then? Wow, okay, you know what? That's a good friendship. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Aww. That's a good friend. Think about how many pictures they have of each other or like see she has of her, you know, that is a solid friendship. A plus. Influencer gets exposed for faking a BTS fan. Last year we were both in Seoul together. I left um, in the middle of June and then like a week before BTS was playing in Seoul. Oh, wow. She, she's on it there. Ollie, come on, bro. Because BTS, like I totally know what that is. I was mad because I had to go back to work. Okay. And basically Ollie was in Seoul when BTS played in Seoul and he didn't even go to see them. So that's how much he couldn't care less about BTS. <laughs> Because <laughs> BTS, like I totally know what that is. Like I totally know what that is. To be completely honest. <laughs> and it didn't just look up what that was prior to doing this video. God damn it, Ollie. Get your shit together, dude. Can't you get me through it all? I let my guard down. <laughs> you pulled the rug. Okay, that's enough. That is so good. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, make it go viral, Matt. That's elite. I just got that whole thing on 
video. You I'm posting it. Yeah, not, this is pretty go good. No. You're amazing, Matt. You're literally amazing. Y'all better make this go viral. He's incredible. Dude, also, like, I just love his vibe. Like, reminds me of, like, that new character on Stranger Things. Forget his name, but, like, just love it. It's You're dope, Matt. I love you. You all right? Saw your friend's ex. We all saw him or No, we all saw right. Because you want to beat them. Who are they all replying now? No. Yeah, uh, well, comment down below. What What is the, what's the kind of, like, I guess the borderline for you as far as, like, dating a friend's ex or something? For me, it's kind of just, like, a full-up, like, stop. Like, it, it, like, it does not happen, you know what I mean? Friend, I will not. <laughs> That's what you say, uh. <laughs> But it, at the same point, it's like, if it was just like, oh, like, my friend was talking to her for, like, a little bit, like, a few weeks, then I feel like it's okay. I think it all depends on the severity of the relationship. But let me know your thoughts down below. Oh. What? Wait, you just threw him on the ground? Dude, this guy just, like, threw him on the ground. Yo, okay, listen up, guys. Speaking from a short king. I am one. We have to own it, guys. Y'all, 5'9 right here. We gotta own that stuff. Okay, 5'9 and like three quarters. Just throwing it out there. Those three quarters are really, really important. But you gotta own that stuff, folks. You're 5'9. Okay, you rock that. I don't need any, any insoles or whatever it was. I don't need that. I'm a short king, baby. Gotta love it. Yo, honestly, that was pretty dope actually. Like that was that was like a full up like like portfolio of exactly who they were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Like that wasn't even that toxic at all, man. Like there was a few like su like subtle jabs in there, but as as like a, a full up portfolio, I'm like, okay, a minus human being right there. You know, like that that is a solid individual. Guys are always falling in love with her. Katie, fucking stop! Oh my god, are you kidding? Can you not make an ugly face for once? This is my group chat. You're not even letting me look good. I can't help that what? I look like good. I oh my god. This Stop, can't be real. Yeah, you're fucking full of yourself. Oh my god. Are you actually mad at me right now? Yes, yeah, stop. I'm not even doing anything. This you can't be real. And I'll try me. I'm literally, I don't know time where you have it. Okay, I don't buy it. First off, like, that's my first comment. It's like, I do not believe that this is a real clip. I don't try to outshine you. Yes, you do. You know you do, Katie. You seriously fucking mad at me for looking good in the picture? Yes. Try. Like you, you want everyone to know that you're better than me or you think you're better than me. But if it was a real clip, then yeah, like we, we have some serious problems there. I will also say, you know, if it's a real clip too though, it's like you're literally filming the whole thing. So like you are kind of, but then she is toxic. I don't know, man. It's fake. It has to be. Anyways, guys, those were some people who got exposed by their best friends, but they really weren't their best friends because they're out here like exposing them. So I don't know, guys. Comment down below any drama that you guys have had with your friends before. I'd love to hear it. Also, please hit the like and the subscribe button. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, wait, wait, pause, pause for one sec. What the f is a BTS? Like, I don't want to be ignorant here, you know? But I. It's a Korean band? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a Korean boy band. It's a Korean boy band. Okay. Okay, alright, let's start it again. You nice, keep going. It's a Korean boy band, gotcha. Because BTS, like, I totally know what that is. <laughs> and it